Our top story is out of Indianapolis this midday. News 10 is there to find out more about potential state laws that could impact you. One of them targets your child's safety on and off the school bus. Olivia Stahl's family wants Senate Bill 2 to become law. That's after she and her brothers were killed after being hit while getting on their school bus. If passed, it would increase penalties to anyone caught ignoring a school bus with its stop arms extended. News 10's John Swanner was at this morning's hearing. He joins us live from the Indiana State House with more. Good afternoon, Aaliyah. From a very busy Indiana State House, where this morning the Senate Judiciary Committee met to consider this bill and they passed it unanimously out of committee. And if you heard the testimony from any of the family members affected by this horrible tragedy, you can certainly understand why this bill passed unanimously out of committee. Now, as we go to video, we'll see Michael Stahl on your screen. He is Olivia Stahl's father. He was the first to testify on behalf of this bill. And we can tell you that um, his testimony was just simply riveting. Olivia, one of three kids killed in that Fulton County accident. Uh, in this case, this bill would make it a felony to pass a school bus with its stop arm extended and cause injury in the process. For Michael, he says this bill is one way Olivia can impact the state of Indiana, even though she's no longer with us. It breaks my heart and I cry and I'm, I'm upset about it because I'd rather have my daughter here. I always knew that she was going to have an impact in which some shape or form. Most parents generally believe that their kids are going to have an impact, and all kids do in some way. Um, but Olivia had a way about her. I don't know how you, you deal with the, the tragic death of one child, let alone three, and yet they're able to come and talk about it in public at a room full of people and, and cameras, and it's intimidating. Uh, but they put all that aside and tell their story and share it, and I really commend them for that. Senate Bill 2 now goes before the full Senate for a vote. We don't know when that will happen, but we'll certainly keep you up to date.